Hey guys, welcome back to PPT Welding. Today we're going to be doing an upgrade to our cheap plasma cutter. If you guys haven't seen the video, it'll be linked here, here. I'm still getting this confused on which way it goes, or it'll be task or something. But we're going to be upgrading the torch handle because the original torch handle sucks in a way. It still works very well. It's very decent. And actually these, I believe ceramic cups that they have are actually quite durable. They're more durable than a torch cup, but, well, to TIG torch cup. I mean, let me, let me rephrase that. So we're going to be upgrading it with a new torch handle, which was only $10 off of Amazon, and this has a pull trigger. So hopefully this works a little bit better than the little button on top of the original. But if you want to link or want to know more information about this machine, I will have it linked down below and also titled. Um, but let's get into replacing this guy and not listening to me blobber on about how awesome of a machine this has been so far. Well guys, this is the original torch handle and which was our downside was this button up here because when you're wearing a welding glove you really can't feel it that well. So we're gonna go ahead and take this guy apart to put this guy together onto it, which actually has a pull trigger. I just got one holding itself in. So once you pull it apart, housing comes right out. The screws wanna fall right out. Boom. So this is our button originally. Here's the actual torch head part. So to undo this, you just got to kind of twist and you have access to this guy. And this I believe looks like, oh, it's not 12 mil, it's 11. I'm going to need another one. Hold on a second. 12 mil and a 7 8 fits. Got this guy apart. This is your airline and your pretty much your metal conductor. Then you got this guy all off. So take this and of course you gotta use a smaller screwdriver than the one I have to get into it. Grab this little guy. Five. This guy should open right up. So, same pretty much connector, which you could, oh no, you can't. The lengths are different. So, this is the new one, this is the old one. So, you can't just keep them the same. So, we're going to put the uh, old one aside. Take it. Back up. Now, this guy, because I just lost a couple screws. This guy, we got to wire up. So, it cut these off and solder them on. Alright, guys, after you get your piece actually soldered on, um, I was noticing this button really is not much of a button. If you look carefully, come on, focus. You got both pins here. You just got a metal contact up there that makes contact with both of them. Kind of cheesy, but uh, hopefully it works. But once you got it together like this, take it, put a switch back in its hole. Just right. Kind of just sits in here, strange. Oh, nope. Put that down there. So, bottom piece in, top piece comes up here. Because if you don't, I want to sit like that. Of course, it's hard to do this. There. Boom. All right, great. you got your seats all the way in there, new torch, pull trigger, a new head, and... Alrighty 
guys, we have got the new torch installed. We're going to do a quick, like, quick cut. Um, I'm not wearing all my proper PPE. I had to get a new jacket. Mine uh, is warm, so uh, I do not have a proper jacket. And I also do not have my second camera, so I can't give you a cool shot uh, of actually seeing this guy cut. But we're going to try out the cut. Um, I'm going to see how this new consumable does. But uh, I believe this works a lot better than the original because uh, uh, the original, when you're wearing, wearing thick welding gloves, was very hard to use. So uh, we're going to see if that works out fine. The only downside, other on this plasma color I found up, is the regulator sucks. It's already leaking, and you'll hear it. That's just the regulator leaking right there. But uh, let's go ahead and see how this cuts now. This is quarter inch C channel, so it's gonna be a lot thicker to uh, cut, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and see. Get my helmet on. All right, guys, as you can see, this new torch is a lot easier to use. I like that I can actually feel the trigger pull when I'm actually using it. And maybe these uh, tin-coated uh, consumables might last a little longer. Um, on this quarter inch, it had no problem starting off cutting. I was pulling pretty quick. Um, but as you guys can see, it cuts kind of nice on this now. And I kind of prefer this new gun. It's a little bit nicer in the hand, too. It's closer to the Hypertherms gun. But uh, still, we don't have the drag shield, which is very sad because I love the hypertherm and the drag shield. But let me know what you guys think about this. If you want to upgrade your cheap plasma cutter with a new torch, because this little blue guy sucks. So uh, let me know down in the comment section below and what we can do better to make our videos more awesome for you guys. So I will see you in the next one.